In this video, I'm going to be working a related rates problem out, specifically one that deals with a shadow coming from a light pole. Um, and before we get started here, I just want to talk a little bit about this. I do not expect you to be able to read this in the video, um, more or less just the picture that I have here, which is drawn pretty accurately to scale here. All right, something that you need to realize that your shadow shrinks as you walk toward a light source. Okay, so everything's here pretty proportional, this guy and this guy's same height. All right, and clearly you can see the beam of light coming down here and the shadow longer here. As you walk closer then, same height person, the beam comes down and it's going to be a shorter shadow there. So your shadow does shrink as you walk toward a light source. The shadow grows as you walk away from the light source. Okay, so generally what I do is I have my students set it up anytime we have a light pole problem, usually this way, we're walking towards the light pole and anytime I've got to represent that length of that shadow, then it's going to be a negative rate or if the rate at which he is walking towards the light pole, then I, we also rec represent that with a negative as well. Okay, now something that the particular example I'm going to do here doesn't deal with, but other problems might, is the tip of the shadow, the speed of the tip of that shadow. All right, now it's important for you to recognize that the speed of the tip of the shadow does not depend upon the distance the man is from the pole. All right, and for some reason that seems to create uh, some problems for some students, especially if they give the distance in that particular type of question, if they give the distance the man is away from the um pole, people think they have to use it. You don't have to use that number. All right. So in other words, the speed of the tip of the shadow is constant at the rate at which the man walks away from the pole, regardless of how far he is from the pole. Okay. So um, just some things to think about when you are doing these shadow problems. All right. Now, in particular, um, the one that I want to do here is uh, we've got a man. He's six feet tall. He is walking at a rate of five feet per second, but he's walking toward a light pole that is 20 feet high. At what rate is the length of his shadow changing? Okay, so just to save a little bit of time here, I went ahead and, and did a little rough sketch here. We have a light pole that's 20 feet tall. We have a person that is six feet tall. He is walking toward the light pole. All right, and it did give that rate. Let's see, he is walking at a rate of five feet, feet per second toward the light pole. All right, so I'm going to denote that as part of my given. We're going to call that x just because we need something to denote it here. So our dx dt, all right, now remember walking toward, so we're going to use it as a negative. So it's negative 5 feet per second. All right, and then, so that's our given right there. Um, now what else does it give me? 20 feet high for the pole, we've used that. At what rate is the length of his shadow changing? Okay, so let's do that in blue here at what rate is the length of his shadow changing? Okay, well his shadow's right here, so let's just denote that as y. So what I'm trying to find here is I am wanting to find dy dt. Okay, now we have to come up with a formula or an equation that we can use. All right, and hopefully you can see you've got some proportional triangles here. Um, so let's use the little triangle here, and I can come up with, say, um, y over 6 for the little triangle, and then the big triangle, this distance would be x plus y, and then all over a height there of 20. So there is going to be my geometric formula that I am going to work with to be able to finish this related rates problem. All right, so let's come up here and let's solve this proportion here for y. So I'm going to have y over 6 equals x plus y over 20. Okay, solving for y. Let's um, cross multiply down. So we'll have a 6x plus a 6y equals a 20y. Uh, solving for y here, negative 14y equals negative 6x. And dividing both sides by that negative 14, I'll have a y equals a positive 3 7 x. Okay, so now that I have solved that proportion for y, I am now ready to implicitly differentiate my equation. So that's what I'm going to do at this point. So I'm going to implicit differentiation. Okay, so we're going to do this with respect to time. So this will be dy over dt. 
is equal to 3 7 dx dt. Alright, now at this point I can go and look, I know I'm trying to find dy over dt, and so I need to know if I know dx dt. I do, that was given to us. So then my dy over dt is going to be 3 7 times that negative 5 feet per second which then doing the math there is going to give me a negative 15 over 7 feet per second. Alright, which means he is the, he's walking towards the light pole and the length of the rate at which it is uh, shrinking is it's shrinking so it will be negative and that's what that's indicating right there. So when the man is walking toward the light pole at 5 feet per second, the length of his shadow is shrinking at you can say shrinking at 5 15 sevenths feet per second, or you could say it is changing at a rate of negative 15 over 7 feet per second. Um, so there's just one straightforward um, related rates problem dealing with a light pole and a shadow problem. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping you, don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.